What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. So I was tagged again, this time by Ashton from Gent Sense, and he tagged me in a video series that was started by Timmy from Imagine Scent, and it's called My Fragrance Firsts. So let's jump right into it. My number one, which is first bottle acquired. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Reason is, is because it didn't have a name or a title or a house or anything on it. It came from my mom back when I was in middle school. She just brought it home one day. And I'm like, okay, yeah, cologne. I don't really wear cologne. So I started wearing it. And I remember it was really synthetic. I'll never forget the smell of it, but I couldn't really describe it to you, to be honest. It's been over a decade and longer <laughs> since I've smelled this stuff. But I just remember it came in a clear bottle. It was kind of like almost imagine like a, a crystal kind of shape to it. It was kind of irregular in shape with a lot of angles that had like a clear gray cap on it. That's all I remember. If you've ever seen this or if it sounds familiar, please let me know down in the comments because I have no idea what it is or where it comes from. But that was my first bottle of fragrance. Up next, my first designer bottle, and that was actually Aqua Di Gio from Giorgio Armani. And I got that years ago and I wore it a lot a whole lot and then I dropped the bottle and I don't have it anymore. <laughs> the closest thing I have to it is this, which is the Profumo version, which I really enjoy. Just a little bit more mature and a much better performer than the original. Up next is first niche bottle and that is actually two that came at the same time and they actually came from a good friend of mine, A2. Thank you once again, man, for your generosity for getting these fragrances to me. Changing my world, really. These are both from the House of Creed, and this is Aventus, and this is Vetiver Geranium. Both gorgeous scents. You've seen this one a billion times, I'm sure, by now. I have a review on this one. If you want to check it out, I'll link it up there. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. First, memorable compliment. I honestly haven't gotten a whole lot of compliments, and I've definitely never gotten one that was just crazy off the wall. I know my girlfriend has complimented me a few times on my fragrances. In particular, I think she really gave me a great compliment for Reflection Man once. I don't even remember what she said. I think she just, she hugged me and she's like, mm, and she just held on. And that was enough for me. I'll just take that. In fact, that will just end there. Let's move on. First negative feedback. I honestly haven't really gotten any real negative feedback. The closest thing I have to it, one day I think I was testing out Armani Code Colonia and uh, that was, that's their newest Armani Code Flinker, released this year in 2017. And I think I wore it around my girlfriend once and she smelled it and she just didn't really like it. She said it just smelled weird and it was too strong. So that's all right. Just said, all right, I'm not going to get a bottle of that. <laughs> Moving on. First fragrance video watched. Now, for me, the obsession with collecting and with just learning more kind of started about a year and a half ago, just like really getting deep into it. And it started when I first went to YouTube and found out that there is a fragrance community, which I never imagined was a thing. I went on YouTube because I was looking for suggestions. I'm like, I want to get something new. What's out here? Went to YouTube. And when you type in fragrance, who do you think is the first person that comes up? Jeremy Fragrance. And the first video of his that I saw was his, I think it was his 2016 most complimented video and his charisma his enthusiasm it, it hooked me it hooked me not only to just want to learn more about fragrances um, and want to acquire the ones he was talking about but also to ultimately want to start my own channel just sharing what i love so yeah jeremy if you're watching this thanks man <laughs> my first love this is an easy one when I first started going out to do sniffing in stores, I went to Macy's, this was a while back, and uh, came across this one. And this is the one that stood out to me the most, so much so that is the only fragrance I've ever bought retail. I had to have it there. And this is Lone from Yves Saint Laurent. This stuff will always... forget it's always the same reaction it just makes me smile I remember smelling it 
in Macy's and just like literally having my mind blown right then and there. And I looked at the sales associate in the eye, I'm like, this is so elegant. She just kind of looked back like, okay, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> you want to buy it? And I said, yeah, bam, bought it. Didn't look back. I love that stuff. I will always have it in my collection. My first hate. This comes from the house of Tom Ford. I have a review on it. It's the only negative review I have on my channel. And this is called Tom Ford Noir. And it is specifically the Eau de Parfum version in the black bottle. This stuff is disgusting to me. What I get out of it is a, a awkwardly sour, powdery, kind of sweet and very rosy and floral scent. It's just nasty to me. I tried so many times to let it redeem itself. I tested it so many times. I just can't do it. It's one of the most disgusting scents I've ever smelled. Sorry if you like it, but I absolutely hate it. But let's move on. First blind buy. This is a special fragrance to me, and unfortunately I don't have it anymore. I actually sold it off a couple months ago uh, in a big haul of fragrances that I got rid of. I just wasn't wearing it anymore, and mainly because of this guy and also because of pineapple vintage intense and we're talking about club de nuit intense man from the house of armoff i'll never forget i had never smelled anything like it i heard about a ventus which i hadn't smelled yet at the time i knew i would never be getting a bottle of it so i bought club de nuit intense man totally blind smelled it just like i've never smelled anything like this this is amazing and to this day, I still really enjoy it. I still remember the, the smell. I remember how it made me feel. And that was kind of like the beginning of my journey of collecting. So I'll never forget you. Club Day and Weed Intense, man. And finally, first guilty pleasure. Now, this isn't really an official thing for me. This is just the only fragrance I could really fit into this category as close as I could. And it's definitely one if you tell people the name of what you're wearing, they might kind of look at you funny. But if they just smell it, they're probably going to really enjoy it. And this is Love and Luck from Ed Hardy. And yeah, it kind of smells like Creed's Millicene Imperial. In fact, it's really close. It's just a little bit more synthetic, a little bit sweeter, but has way better performance. It projects very well and it lasts longer. Uh, yeah, again, it's, I know some people kind of crap on it here and there, but I enjoy it when I wear it. Other people seem to enjoy it too. I get compliments on this one, so that's all I'm gonna say. So guys, those are my 10 fragrance firsts. Had a lot of fun sharing them with you. I'm gonna tag three reviewers to continue the train. Let's keep it moving. Lola from Lola Scents. We're gonna tag E from Simply Put Scents. And we're also gonna tag Mr. Oz. Mr. Oz, I don't know if you watch my channel, but I hope you watch this video and jump on the train and answer these questions. I look forward to seeing everyone's responses. I'll link the questions down below so you can check them out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you guys on the next one.